Namaste, love and light to all of my beautiful divine feminines and masculines out there. This is going to be a What is Their Karma This Full Moon Part 2. Okay, so I felt guided to do this. And we have thoughts. Yeah, that's because the karmics are thinking about you right now. And I feel like also because they're facing karma, there could be a Virgo involved. Or Leo, yeah, look, and a mature woman. There was like a mature woman looking down on you here. And I feel like, you know, now she's worrying about you. Something about thoughts. I feel like she was trying to like tap into your thoughts. She was doing a lot of like black magic here on your subconscious to tap into your subconscious to like almost like take your subconscious from you to make drive you crazy. And she's going through a huge life change. This full moon is bringing in a major tower for her and she is not expecting it. She did not receive any blessing from her um her spell work. Like she received nothing but like backlash. Okay, she really she received nothing but backlash. It's like she did not receive the blessing out of it. She didn't even receive your subconscious. I'm getting your crown chakra. All right, and I'm getting your royal crown. Your royal relic is your crown. It's, it's a part of your royal relic is your crowning. And she tried to take that. She tried to take your royalties. This woman, this mature woman, she know who you are. She know who you are. Yeah, one of my ancestors saying she know who you is. I got a country ancestor on me. All right, a black one. But um, she know who you are, all right? And she was thinking about you a lot, and she was trying to tap into your subconscious thoughts here. All right, okay. So what I'm also picking up is that, um, damn, what was it? Let me go back. Okay, she knows you are spiritually supporting you. Okay, I can't even remember, but it'll come to me. All right, so I feel like this woman, she worked really, really, really hard to try to take you down here. But let's just keep going. Let's see. Spirit, tell me more about the situation. Like I said, she didn't receive any blessings, blessings from this. But she, with this message of concern, I told y'all yesterday in my reading yes, um, last night about their karma. What's their karma? Is that they're receiving messages from spirit about their karma because of what they did to you. All right, yeah, occupation. With this occupation, I'm getting this mature woman. She, like, invested a lot of her time, you know, occupied a lot of her time, you know, trying to steal your energy, mimic your energy. There we go, copycat energy. Thank you, spirit. You know, one of the biggest, one of her biggest downfalls, I'm getting, this was, like, her biggest downfall, like, her doing this type of spell. But one of the biggest things she was trying to do is, you know, steal your spiritual identity, all right, because she know your royal ranking and, and your royal status is high. Okay, with that's um, why you know you are so blessed and abundant and highly favored, and you're able to um channel the most high and so forth and have such good energy around you. Okay, it's a part of who you are spiritually. You came down from the heavens with this graceful energy, regardless of how our living status are. It's our peace, our inner peace is what matters, right? Us being able to tap into our higher self. All right, so she knows how powerful you are, so she wanted to, you know. Steal your identity. She's. I feel like she's being charged with um identity theft. Honestly, I feel like she's being charged with identity theft. Yeah, she's gonna be facing like jail time, and I'm even getting like a, a ending, a death in the distant horizon. She may even die in like um jail. Okay, spiritual jail, spiritually entrapped here. She's gonna die that way. Okay, yeah, she was using cloaking spell. All right, to cloak her spell. I mean, I'm sorry, to cloak herself as you so she can receive your blessings in your life. This is someone that's desperate. Like I, and like I was saying, she worked really hard to try to take you down. And she's receiving a lot of messages from spirit up above from here and the energy that's around her. She's just feeling and sensing that she's about to receive severe karma. And she's thinking about you like, damn, why had it been her? You know, she, she is like, why you can't be facing karma? She wants you to face karma too. But it's like you're focusing on your courtship, a brand new connection here. 
all right, a better connection. I feel like your connection is about to change here. Some of you guys are going to be reconciling with someone. This could even be a past life lover. But some of you got this mature woman. All right, this could be like a third party. And she was like trying to like take your person from you and causing all this mischief. And things is about to change for y'all. Y'all may even have a reconciliation. Yeah, I feel like she was also doing um, death spells. So you can be like bedridden. I'm getting like um, deathbed. Like she was even like writing a spell for you to die in your own bed here. All right, I'm hearing, oh my gosh, she even wouldn't get to happen with you. Like your children seeing you dead in bed. That's sad. All right, she's going to be suffering from bad health. All she got was bad health and bad spells circling back around to her. That's all she received. Some of y'all could be like 26 or around 26. She could be 31. All right. I feel like y'all could not be like, y'all probably not too far apart in age. I'm getting a sister. This could be a sister here, older sister. But she really wanted to have control of you with this official person. She wanted to be a, the official person in your life. This could even be a mother. All right, she's being blocked. Her blessings are blocked here. I'm seeing it. Like the cosmos blocked all her blessings. I'm getting all her blessings are being retracted too. Yeah, she's going through a major um tower. Um, spirit is showing me like, you know, like that. Like that's what's happening to her. Yeah, you see the baby? <laughs> that's what's happening to her because she tried to cause you an ending. She tried to kill you because she wasn't getting her way. So that's what's going to manifest in the near future. Either her or someone around her. It's her karma. And I'm getting it's her blessing too. She wanted this to happen to you. This was, this was her blessing for this to happen to you. And it's happening to her. She opened up her heart space for this to happen to you. And spirit still manifested it on her because your spirit guides are more powerful. She's in darkness. Your, your spirit guides are in light. They are in love. They mastered darkness, so they're not allowing darkness to consume them. All right, so that's why you have powerful spirit guides and ascended masters around you that love you and care for you and check for you. This karmic don't have that same treatment, okay? That's literally what I'm getting. Then that's what they're jealous of is your spiritual protection as well. You're spiritually protected, okay? And they can't harm you and they can't touch you. It's like, for some of you guys, this karmic can't even be around you here because of how protected you are and how it's like your energy just scared them off. It's like, but all the half of them, they want to get to know you and be your friend, but they feel like you probably wouldn't want to do that with them. Like, y'all may feel like y'all two different people. It's like, I'm getting, you know, they got that from like, you know, jealousy. Like, jealousy made them think like, y'all just going to be on two separate pages. Y'all not going to understand each other. For some reason, it's like, it's making them feel insecure and then it will make them jealous. And I feel like it's because they look at you as better, more wise, more clear headed. All right, more ascended, more wise here. They look up to you, low key. They and I'm getting a part of them want to look up to you, but it's like their ego. Their ego was really like you know, stifling that. This could have been a friend. All right. Um, I don't know if that's if this was a third party. That part may not resonate with you, okay? But I feel like for some of y'all, if if that part resonated, this was someone who was like close to you, or like trying to get close to you, or you may have tried to get close to them, but it was just too much karma here. It was just like karma around this person their mindset is like very karmic here yeah could have been like a community of people involved in this situation because of this mature woman she's going to be facing karma i mean i'm sorry they're going to be facing karma too with her yeah because your ancestors don't play with this high honor they came through and dismantled all of their plans your ancestors dismantled all of that honestly i hope y'all can hear me because it sounds like it's low oh my god i would hope not okay Luna, get down. Let me see something. I hope it's better. But, um, Amina, you can't come playing up here, okay? Because I'm recording. This karmic was trying to steal all your energy, and they fell here. They All that energy that they were trying to send to you is in their house. It's trapped in their house. I told y'all, karmic was doing a lot of black magic in their house because they thought their house was protected from their own spell work. But how, how are you protected from your own spells and you opening up your energy to do this spell? Okay, it, it's like you could probably protect yourself to counteract kind of the spell coming back onto you. But if there's powerful spirit guides around protecting that person you're trying to attack, they can, you know, override that um count, that counteracting spell. This karmic is weak. It's like spirit is saying they just using spells. That's it. There's no power of manifestation. There's no creativity. It's like magic is all about creating. All right, even with spell work, you can create your own spells by just writing a petition. All right, just writing God, you know, a petition. And, it's like writing a story. That's how, you, if you want to manifest the life you want, you met, you know, you manifest a story. You write a story, and this karmic was doing that, and they house actually manifesting bad stories for you, nightmares. Okay, bad storybook endings here. They're sick. Look, they worked really hard. I'm getting that with this toil and labor. I'm seeing you in the background working hard too, and your ancestors are protect were protecting you in the midst of that. 
All right, a lot of you guys are working hard right now. All right, but it's like she was in the background as well, working hard against you, trying to be the official person in your life. This could even been an ex trying to get like someone to like do spell work so they can be the only person in your life, and that failed. All right, if this was like a team up thing with an ex and somebody else, they failed and they got caught. Listen, you are their gift, and you are a gift from the heavens onto this planet Earth. Yeah, you believe that about yourself. You know that. And I'm getting you try to, like, teach this to, like, you know, these karmics around you so they can step in light. And they try to make it seem like you was, like, being a preacher or something. Like, they thought that like, you was being weird, and all you were trying to do was just guide them to the right path. And God guided you to this path of, like, oh, being an awakener. You're awakening souls. All right? You, you shaking things up. You being that chaos comes to order. Okay? Or chaos from order. No, 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 no. It's in, hold on, it's in one of my things. Let me read it specifically. Mommy, it's called. Me help us. Mommy. I mean, please help me. Here. Mm. Let me see. Yeah, order from chaos. I'm sorry. Order from chaos. Order from chaos is what it is. Not it. Chaos comes order. But order from chaos. You're here to bring. Chaos comes to order. But I feel like you guys, y'all shake things up and y'all bring order in, in the courtroom. Okay? But nonetheless, order from chaos. You're here to, you know, bring order from all the chaos that was happening. Okay? Order from chaos. Not chaos comes to order. I'm sorry. But I feel like, you know, I still believe that. You know, chaos come order is just like a, you know, demonized. And they took that from us because, you know, you always want to bring order from chaos. Whenever there's chaos here, God will send an angel to bring order. All right, so you're definitely an, a an angel sent from the heavens to bring order from all the chaos that's been going on the planet Earth. And with these karmics, even your karmics, you're here to serve them karma. They think they're going to be living this life free, nilly, willy nilly, and they have karma to be served to them. They can't run. All right, yeah. I can't make it up. And then I just say you bring order in the courtroom. All right? Order from chaos. That's what you, you operate in. All right? And I feel like I said it wrong for a reason. Maybe God wanted me to, you know, see it as in, like, that's just a dark version of it. But it's really order from chaos. Okay? And they just try to twist it up, these reps, to chaos comes order. But either way you flip it, you know what I mean, it, you're still here to bring um, order. Even if you got to get, you know, bring in a tower just to bring that change. Because sometimes change can't come without a tower because the energy is so dense, you know, and, and that energy is so dense that people will stay stuck in it. But you are that order from chaos. You here, you are here to judge many souls here that is karmic and including this karmic person that was in their house doing spell work to change your life. They're weak. Look, and look, you're also a privileged lady. So that's why God gave you that powerful, you know, throat chakra I'm getting. It's like, it's, it's like your throat is like you given authority, okay, in the cosmos. And it's tied in with your throat. It's like as you say it, and so be it. If, you know, you could even be a judge in the cosmos too, judge a judge along with God. You judge with God, all right? And, you know, you, it's like whatever you say to these karmics is so be it. Or they feel, you know, your wrath or whenever you say things, child. I don't know. But <laughs> also what I'm trying to say is that, you know, you, you bring order. But you're a privileged lady. God chose you. All right. Yeah, message. I can't make it up. You definitely, as as you say it, so be it. Literally. If you say, God, send them a tower, God is going to do so because it's justifiable. It's like, you know, the power is in your hands. The judgment is in your hands. Literally. You're powerful. All right. This is your good karma. It's like you're, you are leveling up. All right. I'm seeing you guys actually, you know, my... Notification just went off. All right, I see you guys. Um, let's see, y'all rank went up. Y'all rank definitely went up. That's what I'm picking up. Y'all rank definitely went up. Let's see. Yeah, I feel like a whole family of karmic is being taken down. I wouldn't be surprised if all your karmic are all connected. You know, through the bloodline as far as, like, you know, their spiritual connect, like, the spiritual bloodline, yes. Okay, they may not be, you know, family in the 3D, but on the spiritual realm, I feel like they're family and they're connected bloodline-wise. 
That's why I'm getting a whole family of karmic. Yeah, and I feel like you are the chosen child here. All right, I'm getting you are the child from God here. And you're here to dismantle this whole family of karmic. Even, you know, I'm getting like, you know, the royal family. You know, all these, you know, top elites. Okay, Rockefeller, all of that. Yeah, I feel like you came on this journey to dismantle all of this. Since a child, you've been dismantling a lot of secret societies. That's basically what it is. These secret societies, all right, these secret families, you're here to break them down, and you are expecting for their power to come, and they are because you said it, so be it. And they know that you you here. That They know you're here. All right, they, they try to look at us as karmic, but they don't want us to receive our reparation with this unexpected income. And it's not just money. It's our blessings here, our, you know, life purpose, our soul's purpose, our inherit, our spiritual inheritance as, as far as, like, you know, sitting next, you know, taking here of the throne or something like that. being Basically, being the next one in line for the throne, the, pa the torch being passed down to us from the ancestors that's our reparations and they don't and, and it comes with a lot of abundance all right receiving our rights back okay yes and they and they trying to imprison a lot of souls all right y'all know what i mean by they right they try to imprison a lot of souls so we can be in despair basically separate us from our divine purpose and put place you know their bloodline all right in our spot okay no that can't happen no more god is like he's over he's overruling that Period. And we all gonna receive our golden age, our golden our our blood, our royal bloodlines, our royalties, our relics back. All right, I'm seeing like royalty, gold running through the bloodline. That's your royalties. We're gonna be receiving our relics, and clearly this karmic is a part of this whole, you know, a part of that rep bloodline. Like I've been saying, this is gonna be exposed a lot, you guys. A lot of other channelers and readers gonna be exposing, you know, black and white reps. Okay, but for the most part, this karmic, all right, is a rep. Because they try to steal your relic, too. They're probably, like, late descendants of the bloodline. They're probably not in the forefront, in the, you know, in the actual White House. But there are, we have to consider the forefathers, the descendants, like George Washington and such. We have to consider all of them, his father and his father, all of that. All that plays a part. They took a lot out of history, too. So we have to just, you know, tie our intelligence in together into all of this here. Yeah, look, and with this main female, I'm getting you are the main female. All right, a part of this story that's going on on Mother Gaia, and these karmics know it, and they want to, and they wanted to take you down. You are on the top of the pyramid. You and your lover, y'all destined and ordained to come together to be on top. All right, but a part of you guys, it's like I'm getting, a, it's like your lover, it's like a part of y'all felt like your lover didn't feel that way, or didn't look at it like they looked at themselves as regular, but they're not. Somebody was trying to shut off their spirituality. Somebody was trying to strip them from their spirituality so they could be walking around. In poverty, like their inner child is just stripped from their powers and their gifts. This is, like I said, you being a child of God here is literally the child, the manifestation that God created you. All your gifts, your talents, your life and soul's purpose all starts as a child. Why do you think they ask you when you're a kid what you want to be when you grow up? Typically, you already know. Oh, I want to be this. I want to be that. As life changed, our dreams do change based upon experience, trauma. You get what I'm saying? Either good or bad. You know, I wanted to... You know, be the next Bill Gates. I did say that because I love technology, but my life switched into spirituality, and I do see how my tech, some of you know, my tech skills, some of it died down. But as far as like Photoshop, you know, me, you know, not to knowing how to do certain things, understanding certain programs, it does help me with my business. Nonetheless, I don't really have to pay for an editor because I edit my own thumbnails. I could edit videos as well. As y'all can see, I do cut, and I can even go in depth. I can even make an intro. Because I used to make videos as a young girl, okay, and I did upload on YouTube as a young girl. One of my first YouTube channels was, um, it was a Wizard 101 YouTube channel, and I made Wizard 101 music videos. If y'all just type in Wizard 101 music videos, you'll see, like, that shit was popping back in those days. And I deleted those because I was on my old channel, and I just stopped doing it. But this is not the first time I uploaded on YouTube. So, it's like, you guys, we typically know what we want to be when we grow up as a kid. Because all our talents and gifts are activated as a child. And if we maintain and nurture that inner child or even our own children, they will typically grow up to be what they felt what they're supposed to be the moment they touched the ground on this planet. Okay? And this karmic was trying to strip your person and you, but, you know, 
I'm seeing like they was the reason why your person was in doubt was because they were trying to strip them of their inner child or their innocence, their you know, their connection with the most high, their who they are from them, okay, and they'll be nothing. Okay? So they because it's like, yeah. I feel like you and your person, but I'm picking up your person fortune, they was destined to have sudden wealth since a childhood. It was destined for them. It's like they were set up since a child. They were set up since a child here. It's like, you know, there's an ancestor on the other side with this concern in main male. Yeah, I'm seeing this. That made sure that this child was set up, you know, whenever something happens here. I don't know if somebody, and this is the person that was trying to steal it. Yeah, that birthright too. This is also Father God. Our birth, okay, thank you, Spirit. All right, let me explain it. Our birthright is also tied in with that inner child. That's all I was trying to explain, but I just couldn't get it right away. All right, our birthright. It's it, it is there with us since we are born, right? Since, you know, we're, we're, when we grow up from being a baby all the way up until we're a child, we have our birthright. Our birthright is tied in with our gifts, talents, and abilities. A karmic was trying to take you and your person's birthright, but I'm, t I'm talking about your person right now. So, specifically, your person, they were trying to take their birthright here. So they can have it for themselves or give it to someone else. Maybe their lover is, this is just a random witch attacking you. Some of you I got, like, random witches attacking you. All right, and, 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 you know, Father God gave this birthright to both you and your person. So that can't happen. Someone was definitely trying to steal it, though, because they are in despair. They don't have no money here. All right, but I'm also getting, it could be somebody that, if this is, like, inheritance, Let's just pray that no one did try to steal it, but I'm getting with this death and despair. Somebody could even try to steal some inheritance here. That a man, a mature man, a main male. All right, I'm getting from a marriage here, imprisonment, false person. Oh my God! If there was like you know, a marriage involved with some money, and then a spouse try to take that money, maybe take the rights of the other spouse's money. There's gonna be like some issues. I feel like something's gonna come up about that. Honestly. Yeah, look, there's definitely an ancestor, a male involved in this. A main male, a main male ancestor involved that's gonna make sure this sudden wealth goes to this person, to your person, you, either it's like tangible money or your spiritual rights. All right, your relics and all of that. Yeah, take it away from this false person. They've been lying to you this whole time in your face, this mature woman. All right, for some of you guys, this is someone that's close to you. A mother figure, a mom, okay? She's definitely been trying to steal from you this whole time because she feel like you don't deserve it. She deserves it. She feel like you deserve that power and control, all right? And this is concerning to this ancestor on the other side because, first of all, they're your family, your blood family, all right? And, and y'all are connected. And two, it's not right. It's meant to be for you. This same ancestor could have left it for you, all right? It could have died. This could be like a great-grandfather or something. All right, yeah, they... Psh. First of all... I'm picking up that y'all have karmics that was, like, trying to imprison your ancestors. So they won't protect you and give you your spiritual royalty. All right? Because they know what's due for you. Okay? And I'm also getting this person who's a thief. They need to go to prison here. Spiritual prison will be taken away. All right? Because they're stealing. All right? From a marriage. I'm getting somebody stole from a marriage. Yeah. A mature woman stole from, like, a marriage here. Could be a reason why, like, uh, uh, the spouse died. All right, yeah, thief, so she can steal. What the hell? She should be in jail. Yeah, and this, like, could have left you in despair, sad. Like, you know, nothing was left for you, but something was here. And I'm getting, everything was in this mature man name, and I'm getting it supposed to be passed down to you, and it was taken away. Well, this could even be for your um person as well. Y'all, I'm sorry if I threw a little confusion there because I'm seeing it both ways. All right, I'm seeing like somebody you know stole some inheritance from you or someone who you're connected with, okay? Could have been someone who you love. You thought you can love this person. Maybe this, this mature man, whoever this spouse was who passed, thought they can trust this person and they betray them. They're nervous. They ain't, they gonna look, they looking around nervous, like, what the hell gonna happen next? Let me use, Spirit said use my other fortune cards. I'm gonna use my gypsy card. Alright? And even if they took the money, Spirit said they still didn't receive no good fortune because they're, like, miserable. They, they facing karma. And that shit is, is, like, hovering over them every day, what they've done. This is like a murder case, a murder charge. What the hell?
and see. What's your intuition? Because this shit's about to be a bumpy ride, a roller coaster. Yeah. Spirit is saying we're your friend here. So trust spirit. But we have faithfulness. Yeah, your person was always faithful to you. They always looked at you as a gift. If their eyes was ever like, I'm getting like derailed here. If their eyes was like not really like paying it, looking at you like they wasn't really paying you no attention or you felt like they was like wandering eyes elsewhere, I feel like it's because they was going through a lot of distractions. I don't feel like they ever cheated. I feel like they was always faithful to you because they always looked at you as their gift here. Yeah, and they're happy that y'all reconciled. All right, that's what I'm getting. But there was somebody else in the background that was, like, not happy for y'all. Okay, yeah, and they're claiming that they're not an ego, but they are. All right, with this haughtiness, she feel like she's better than every damn body. Like, she just deserves everything. All the attention, all right, all the special treatment, and I'm getting freedom. Like, she deserves all the freedom, and everybody have to be chained, chained down to her and, and, and listen to her rules. Yeah, look, there was a wedding involved. The karma's about, something's about to blow up about uh, uh, around, like, Somebody stealing from a marriage. Somebody could even kill someone for life insurance money. Stole money from you. All right, I'm, oh my God, I'm getting like, the, the Pope is also involved in stealing our spiritual relics, all right? Collectively, even the world, even Mother Gaia's um, spirit, um, spiritual, I'm getting spiritual, but I meant to say royal relics, okay? Like, you know, as far as, like, sacred sites and artifacts and things that was, you know, bought here on Mother Gaia. All right, all that. The Pope has something to do with that. Did he pass already? Uh, but anyways, back to the main story. I feel like y'all definitely had a karmic that was not happy for you and your, um, you and your person. I'm here in new marriage. Y'all could have just got married or spiritually married here and it's trying to be manifested in the 3D. And karmics are trying to stop it. All right, we have joyfulness. Yeah, I feel like you guys have a joyful connection, a happy connection. All right, yeah, and I feel like your person just had to, you know, go away within themselves and console with the angels, with the spirits. And I'm getting, y'all had an ex that was consoling with demons here. And I'm getting there, not a messenger. It came out in reverse. They say that they wasn't talking to demons. All right, but I feel like they were. It could even been their own demons here. But I feel like, you know, whoever this person is, this, this mature woman is her. All right, she's all an ego. I feel like, you know... You and your person should not listen to her because she don't know anything. She's all about herself. So it's like she's going to control the narrative so the situation can only work around in her favor, could only work out in her favor. It's like the, the world has to revolve around her. All right? And, I, and it's like she was sending a lot of projections too, a lot of, you know, to, to confuse you guys. That's why your person had to, like, go into, like, isolation and console spirit. All right, yeah, no, they're, no, they're no longer in a prison anymore. I feel like when this truth come out about this marriage and somebody stealing from a marriage and taking from you, could it even potentially murder someone? I feel like um, it's going to cause a huge, like, breakthrough for you. Like, you're going to feel set free because she's trying to keep you in a prison. That's sad. No, and it's like you have a whole world out there with this pleasure seekers that's waiting for you like a, a and i'm not getting like people like people trying to talk to you but like you have like people that want to meet you like new friends new acquaintances new experiences new adventures are you helping the collective it's like you being a healer it's time for you to do that and this karmic around you is just false they're telling you no 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 don't do that it's waste your time blah 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 like mm -mm. Yeah, you meant to be someone's wife. And there was a false karmic around saying that that's not true. Could be a Taurus or an Aries. Could even be a Gemini. Somebody could definitely be talking a lot, though. Yeah, and it's like they're trying to say that y'all not meant to be married or have a child together. They even wanted you, they want you to miscarry. You're, you're, been, you're meant to be a wife and a mother here or have more children. All right, diamond children, I'm getting like golden children, royal children here. They, they don't want these children to come on, you know, on this planet because they know that they're going to come here already inherited to the throne here already have have their their spiritual royalties set in play like within them within them yeah set in stone within them like they're gonna come here already royal knowing that they're royal you know stepping in that um leadership role look and i'm getting it's all about money too somebody definitely lied and could have killed somebody all right just for money i feel like you know if any karmics well, if this main mature woman, okay, this main mature woman, if she 
you know, got other people involved to try to set you up. I feel like, you know, it was all because she wanted your money, your spiritual relics as well. Yeah, look, now she's sick. The angels made her sick. The angels cursed her. This is their fortune. That's why Spirit wanted me to use these fortune cards. This is their fortune. All right, and I'm getting, they should have, with this merchant, this is also like, but merchant I'm getting choosing because he's trying to choose something. They should have choose their battles wisely. They thought that you were soft and your spirit guides wasn't going to protect you. And you're very fortunate. All right, and they, was, and they saw that about you and they were trying to steal it. But you know who you are. You're very fortunate. You know it. A lot of you guys just need to put it, you know, within, and steal it in your head. All right, say it over and over that you are fortunate. You know you are. That's why they're trying to come for you. It's because you're gifted. All right? They always trying to take your confidence from you, though. That's what Spirit is saying. They always trying to take your confidence because they don't want you to recognize yourself as the golden child. You are the, a part of the golden children, a child of raw. All right, you automatically have that royal golden bloodline because that's God's bloodline. You come from God's bloodline. That's why I say you're a, a scion of God here. You have rare gifts. Your innocence. Didn't I say that? And this karmic was trying to take that from you and your person. And it cracked your person open. That's what it did. It's almost like you withstand the attacks. You felt it and you overcame them, but it cracked your person open. And it was to, you know, help them see themselves for who they are again so they can remember that they are that courageous pony too, just like you, and that they are multifaceted and unique. And they just need to let themselves be shown, let themselves be seen. You guys are a part of each other's soul family. Your person is your soul tribe, and y'all meant to be in each other's lives. It's like you collected one of your first soul tribe members, and it was your person. All right, y'all here to manifest this new earth together. God sent y'all two both on a mission. All right, and I feel like your person had a hard time seeing that. And Spirit is saying, rather they see it or not, that is your purpose. So Spirit is going to, you know, you know, I'm getting like, I'm seeing like, you know, a gear being, you know, turned. And Spirit is saying, you know, screw, like Spirit is going to like instill it back in this, your person's mind about your mission. But it's like this karmic was almost like trying to misconstrue your person's mind into believing that y'all not meant to be. And you guys are here to create a new earth. Yeah, your person was feeling a lot. And the karmic is feeling a lot about what they did to you and your person. Regardless if it didn't work, they still did it. But your person was absorbing a lot. It was absorbing a lot that's not theirs. You see, it says absorbing what's not yours. It was absorbing a lot that wasn't theirs. All right, they, got, they could have been listening to a false priest or priestess. I'm getting their mother as a priest. All right, uh, I mean, a priestess, they could have been listening to them. Yeah, talking to them in their room, get, you know, going to them for advice and stuff like that. And it's like, you sitting, whatever they said, I'm getting you sitting back. Like, I'm faithful. I'm const, I'm in that constancy energy with my person. All right, and, and like, surprise, I'm faithful. All right, surprise, I'm waiting for him. Like, even if I look young, fine, and sexy, I'm still dedicated to my person. It's almost like, and you're smart, too. It's almost like this karmic, you know, Mature woman could even be a karmic mother on your person's side was trying to say that you're not good enough. And you are. She was really trying to say you're not good enough. All right? Mm -hmm. But like your person don't want you to know about these conversations here. All right? And I'm getting, it's like I'm hearing, but they're your friends here. It's like your person also look at you as a friend as well. Like, you know, they can come to you for anything. All right, but it was like in a situation, they went to this mature woman, and it just, I feel like things just went haywire from there. It, like, that would also crack this person open because they listened to the wrong person. Like I said, their eyes was, like, derailed from you and, and, and look in another direction. And I feel like this karmic person was also saying, like, how y'all friends, or y'all can even have a child with this person, or y'all may end up in the future having a child with this person, and they're going to be trying to be all friendly, you know, for the sake of the baby, for the sake of the baby here. But they didn't want y'all to reconcile or reunite. But your person was always faithful to you, even when y'all was in separation. All right? And I'm getting this karmic um, mature woman was also saying, like, just be friends. Just be friends. Don't, you know, reconcile. Some of y'all could even start it out as friends. And then y'all matured into, like, a love situation. Okay? Matured was ascended. Like, the connection became, you know, more, y'all became more close and y'all bonded well. Yeah, letter. And they even sent you, like, a love letter through a text. Like, oh, I love you. Or I want to be with you. We should be together. I really, you know, enjoy our connection and stuff like that. Okay, so. <sighs> yeah. You are their sweetheart. All right, but this karmic witch, I'm hearing, 
but his mother did not have hope for y'all. She's like, I'm getting, she's like into black magic because I'm seeing like Halloween. Like she's into like working with, you know, the dead. All right, she will conjure up the dead and send it towards um, someone. Let me finish pulling. And she tried to send it towards you to like run you off, literally. All right, but she realized that you are um, a star seed. You're a Pallades for some of you guys. You're here on a double mission. All right, you are here to channel and uplift humanity, to channel God. All right, so humanity here, yeah. And it's like, this initiation that both you and your person went through, that's, this, this initiation happened because this karmic mother initiated warfare. So it's like, it, it brought you to, even though it's like y'all went through an attack which brought y'all to an initiation here. It's like y'all went through a rite of passage where it's like y'all had to cross the thresholds. Y'all had to cross over, you know, y'all was met at the crossroads and had to, you know, pick a side, choose a path. And y'all chose the righteous path. And it's like, I see y'all two ascending again. Okay, if y'all in separation, they're going to be calling you soon. All right, Cosmic Heart. Yeah, you prayed for this. All right, you're not alone. You got a lot of spiritual beings around you protecting you. All right, even Japanese ones here, Egyptian ones, all of that. You are the pillar of light. They want you to know that. They want you to be reminded of that, that you are a pillar of light here. Don't forget about who you are. All right? And I feel like you didn't throughout the situation. Some of you guys almost did. But you didn't. So that's wonderful. So I also felt guided to pull. It's like I'm seeing this karmic. It's like their eyes are blocked from like fortune here. Like they can't even manifest fortune. They need to heal first. They need to heal. They blame you for a lot of things. They blame you too much for their misfortunes. They need to clean up their mess. All right, they're going through a major loss on the soul level. All right, yeah, and you had courage to defeat this this karmic. Even though they was coming at you with a hella adversity, all right, you still had courage to defeat them. All right, yeah, now you are claiming your peace, your territory, because this karmic was blocking your, um, was trying to break through your barriers as well. Yeah, you persevered, even though they was trying to block you and break through your um boundaries, you still persevered, all right, because you know that you came here on a mission. They failed, and now they're stuck. I told you, they're stuck. They lost something. They couldn't even lost their intuition, their vision of sight, because they were trying to block you. They know it's from their spell work. They know their spells is the reason why they're down and low, all right, and you're free from their karmic bondage, their karmic bullshit, their fuckery, all right? I, pe I possess the power and the free will to create my own happiness. This karmic cannot... Come into your life and pretend to be like this um, official person in your life that they're not paying any of your bills, I'm getting. They have low self-esteem. And I feel like you worked on your self-esteem through your confidence. You worked through your insecurities by accepting yourself, okay? And you chose peace. You chose to be peaceful with yourself. You do not choose to be angry and upset at, at others for your problems, even if they cause them. You just chose to, you know, uh, you know, forgive but not forget, all right, depending on what they did, right? But it's like you realize also, you know, I have to play account for what I've done because I can't allow anyone to do anything to me unless I let them. I, you know, unless they're forcefully trying to tap into your energy and break boundaries. But, and I do see that this karmic did that, but I also, you know, I'm just saying like in the past with other stuff that y'all dealt with, y'all took accountability and it was this karmic that didn't want to take accountability. You even took accountability for, accountability for your actions that, you know, you put anything that you played in this situation with the karmic it's them that won't take accountability all right and they should have surrendered to you because you're a lot stronger than them and it's like something about your service whatever it is that you do as far as like your business they wanted to wanted you to surrender that and god and spirit said no you shall not surrender to it because that is your mission your service is your mission here they was jealous of that because y'all have two separate purposes all right and i feel like if they want to be on your level they just need to be patient and work on thyself nothing wrong with that and and they regret it. They secretly, silently, and regret and worry. They worrying about their karma. That's why they thinking about you. If this could have been a friend, or if this was like a karmic mother, she was projecting like, oh, we're friends. Well, mother-in-law. Oh, we're friends. Blah blah blah. You know, very two-faced. It and you know, she's stuck. I'm getting her intuition is blocked. That's why you can't really go to her for anything or trust her because her intuition is blocked here. I'm like. I'm also getting you should just laugh at her, all right, as well. Whatever she did to you, just laugh because things are going to balance out and work out in your favor. And people going to be blaming her, and she's going to be asking others for forgiveness because I'm getting she hurt others, not just you, your person, 
and anybody else that's tied in or involved in with her. She hurt other people. Yeah, something about her health. Her health is going to be affected from this. <gasps> Let me pull a few more. This karmic going to get caught up. That's what I'm saying here because they was, you know, moving in that temptation energy, doing things out of temptation. Temptation and money is temptation as well. It's tempting, very tempting. And if she murdered someone for money, she's going down. And whatever else she did, could have even tried to, you know, I'm getting black magic. She could definitely try to use black magic. All right, to murder. All right, ooh, this is your twin flame. This is why they were trying to destroy this union. This karmic, you know, witch did not want your person to see you as their twin and didn't want you to see them as, they, as your twin. They did not want y'all to see each other as twin flames and soul family. I'm getting a twin flame family. It's like you come from a family of twin flames, the original twin flame. I'm getting that stems from you and your bloodline. And this karmic is trying to say, like, you know, that's a lie here. It's, and I'm getting, they're saying that's a lie because they don't have that for themselves. You could have told them that. You come from the original bloodlines. You know, you could have told them about who you are spiritually, and they were trying to say that you're lying, Mommy. but they secretly know who you are. That's Mommy why they're trying to take from you. Let no, me. let Monty help you, baby. I'll help you. Hold on, y'all. I'm trying to keep the stream together. <laughs> and if it's such a lie, why are they trying to take from you? Like, they just don't make no dang sense. And if you don't sound right and make sense, they, it's none of their business. They shouldn't be doing black magic. I don't even think this will fit around your head, baby. <laughs> yeah. I think you did it too small. Yeah, you did it too small. Yeah, come on. Please. Please, please. Thank you. Yeah, so, um... She was just trying to say you're a liar. Like, you're not who you say you are. All right, and with this fall, I'm getting Halloween. Black magic. This this woman was burning candles. With you and your person name, picture, and setting bad intentions. She needs to go through her dark night of the soul and transition instead of trying to deny her dark night of the soul by saying that she's more ascended and powerful than you. All right, yeah, I'm getting message was received here. It's almost like she was trying to say that you was, like, sending her, like, negative energy evil lie and she's like she was saying well you know a message is received you sending me evil lie i'm gonna send you evil lie back and that's why she was evil lying you and your twin but you never evil lied her she evil lied her. she is like she evil lied you and i'm getting a return of reconciliation is coming in hmm? bread okay hold on yeah, you guys are going to be ascending to the next level. This woman was, you know, lying and deceiving others. I'm getting, she's in, she's deception because you are ascending. That's what I'm getting. Like, this is her hiding behind the tree, deceiving others, all right? And, and it's because she's upset and angry because you are in light and you are ascending and your person sees you as light. Look, whoever this karmic person is, karmic partner, with this action, the angels are coming for them, about to give them straight work, all right? Angelic work. They're going to feel the power of the angels. All right, the angels are very angelic, but they also have a wrath too. They want to feel it because because they played around with an earth angel. You played around with your purpose, you and your person's destiny. All right, and look, they're contemplating on everything. That's a, that's part one of them settling in that dark night of soul energy and them finally surrendering. They're gonna surrender regardless, so they can't be keep coming for you. They're gonna destroy themselves trying to take you down. I'm telling you that. Yeah, look, they was communicating about you negatively. And I'm getting communi- And it's like they were utilizing spirit. I'm getting communicating with spirit to, like, you know, telling spirits to do certain things, certain demons or whatever, to do certain things to you. This is someone that, like, talk with spirits and, like, tell spirits what to do. All right? Yeah, that's wrong. And they let... And I'm getting... They allow that power to come get to their head. They allow that power to get to their head. And, and now they're going to be in regret because the spirits are saying, no, the spirit rejected... Is, is rejecting all of their, like offers to them to take you down because these spirits know who you are they know that god is right by your side stepping before you to fight to face these entities so the entities is telling them now telling them no and that's not a good thing because now these entities are going to be coming to them to serve them justice to balance out the scales you know it's the balance it out in the sense of you call me conjure me to take from someone well i can't take from them 
but you you took from me by utilizing my energy and i'm getting this spirit is saying like you knew that this person was protected but you still wanted to play you know roll and roulette and, and see if it's going to work or not and you know it's not going to work so you're going to have to face karma all right eye for eye spade for spade so something they're going to have to face karma that's what i'm getting with balancing the scales what they try to manifest for you couldn't happen to you because of your ranking and who you are spiritually. Rather, they want to believe it or not, or not, it's real. And I'm getting you could have told them, and they already know. All right? So, like I said, rather they wanted to believe it or not, it's real. But they know who you are. They just figured it was more powerful than you. All right? And now they're going to go through many cycles of karma. And, and that karma is what they try to manifest for you. That entity is, or that spirit. All right? I'm getting Papa Legba. Okay, they could have been using Papa Legba to make changes and stuff. He's like, no. And by you conjuring me, all right, utilizing my energy for something that I can't do, you're going to have to pay. You're going to go through what it is that you try to manifest for Divine Feminine. Look, and they're being released from Papa Legba or from whatever, or from whatever spirit they was using. They could have even been trying to utilize God against you, praying on your downfall. All right, and now God put them in fear. They're stuck. They're paralyzed. Paralyzed in fear. That's a part of their karma. All right, and look, your your good karma is a fresh start. God promised this for you. These karmas gonna have to watch you and their dark night of the soul ascend and do better. All right, and and grow. All right, and they're gonna be in hella destruction. They really try to destroy your life purpose, your legacy. That's sad. That's against the rules. I'm hearing, and they didn't want to believe that. That's it's like this karma didn't want to believe it because they are on earth. And they are detached from all the cosmic rules. We forget these things. That's why we go through experience to know better. And this, I'm getting this karmic had to go through this experience to know better. But look, unawakened, I can't make it up. They were just not awakened to it. But it doesn't mean that it ain't real. It doesn't mean that it ain't real. Just, just like, you know, your ranking. They know that your ranking is high. Okay? And they don't want to They don't want to accept it. They want to accept that their ranking is higher than yours. But that that doesn't mean that it ain't real that your high, that your ranking is higher than yours. I'm I'm sorry. Yeah, that doesn't mean that it ain't real just because they believe that it's not. No, no, no. I said that wrong. Just be just because they believe that their ranking is higher than yours does not believe that not, does not mean that it is real. All right, they are unawakening to what really is. Okay, that's what I meant to say. They are unawakening to what really is. Y'all see, I take this seriously because it's serious to me. Look, this is why they're going to be in full-blown regret. I'm getting they're not in full regret right now, but they will be soon. Just give it some time. Because they're going to start seeing how they made, with this compromise, they made a lot of bad deals with the devil here. All right? Spirit here. Yeah, numbing is like spirit. It's like numb. It's like they feel numb inside. Like spirit is breaking them down. It's making them feel numb. Because with this devotion, they was devoted to doing a lot of black magic on you. And all that black magic got sent back to them. And it's numbing them. And I'm getting it was like them. they compromised their own soul. Just to take you down. And they feeling all of that too. They feeling all their spells. That's why they are in solitude. Alright. Still watching you in the shadows. Well they try not. They gonna soon not be watching you. Let me get three more. Yeah, look, you are admired by many. You are needed here, so keep going. Yeah, these karmas were just in a pride and ego, thinking that they was more powerful than you, all right, because they know more, and they don't even realize that they are being rejected by cosmic law in the sense of if they try to invoke spiritual court to take you down, they got rejected. And, you know, they also not, not even honoring cosmic law, all right? So they don't know much of anything. They were jealous of you, and it's because you are awakening others. They regret doing you wrong. They're going to regret doing you wrong because, you know, they're going to awaken to, you know, to who you are in a sense of accepting it. Right now, they, you know, and back then they wasn't accepting it. They know who you are, but they're like, nah, -uh, I'm better, I'm better, and I'm going to prove it, and I'm going to break you down in the process. But moving forward, they're going to see how powerful you are, and it's going to wake them up. I mean, I'm sorry, they're going to be awakened to it and be like, you know what, damn, I should never deal with what I, I did. I'm in regret. They definitely hate that you are awakening other souls out of fear. This karmic is, is a part of the, the Antichrist bandwagon here. They're not a part of that five dimension. That's what I'm basically trying to say. They're not a part of that 5D um, bandwagon. They're a part of that 3D bandwagon. All right? They're not hopping on the bandwagon of love. They're hopping on the bandwagon of fear. All right? They're unawakened to the 5D. And you have awakened to it. And you're blossoming. Utilizing your free will to do good, not wicked. Let me pull you out some scoops and then we'll be done.
No, they got caught up, and now you protecting yourself. It's like that. I'm getting. That's how the story went. You know, after this karma did what they did the first time, you just protected yourself and cut them off, and they became super obsessed over. Um, ever since, obsessed over you ascending and doing better without them. It's about you ascending, literally. All right, and it's like things balancing out for you in your life. Cause I'm also getting. It's like okay. When y'all first cut them off and was done with them, they could have sent you a spiritual attack, and you bounced back from that. So it's like they still holding on to that. Like they can't believe that you bounced back from that attack, and you still doing better. Like that was not supposed to happen. All right, they was doing tarot readings on you, doing tarot readings on your 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 level up in life, your new life here. All right, and I'm getting they was definitely salty when they picked up that God is about to level you up anyways, and they was very salty when they realized that you were chosen for the 5D. All right, and they was not chosen. It's almost like they saw the list in the five. And all right, in the astral realm, you know, they, their little spirit that's attached to them, okay, that their little wicked mind is their wicked soul. All right, if they saw that your name is on a list to ascending and there it wasn't. And it's like they remembered who you are. Prior to even coming on this planet, they remembered who you are. All right. Because what I'm seeing is like them, you know, Y'all yeah, remember the movie Soul and, like, they show that scene of, like, all the souls line up to go to Earth? That's the scenery I'm seeing. And this karmic obviously found out, this karmic soul, when they was in the lineup, you know, they was excited to come because they figured, you know, I have a chance to, like, do better. You know, make it right with the most high, hopefully. Whatever their plan was. All right. And, you know, they saw your name on the list. And they was like, oh, hell no. How you chosen to the for the five D? I'm not even chosen for the five D. I'm just chosen, you know, to heal and ascend, you know, out of certain three D consciousness. But you know, I'm not really chosen. To, I'm getting like their generation, their next bloodline, the generation was chosen for the five D. They were just here to like build up the bloodline so the next generation could be cosmic and in the five D. But they wasn't chosen for the five D. All right, because I'm also getting this certain karma that restricts them from fully, you know, embodying that 5D energy. All right, and I'm getting, you know, this karmic soul knew that. All right, but when they saw that you was on the scene and you was in, you know, coming on planet Earth and you was going to be ascending way more faster than them and you're going to be in the 5D way before them, it's like they was like, I have to be, I have to compete with you. It's almost like their intention. All right, was set to be in competition with you way before they was born when they was in that soul lineup to come on this planet because they knew already. That's why when you met them, they instantly was trying to like one up you and bring you down because that was their whole intention when they was going to reconcile with you. They already set that intention. So when they met you, that's what the energy was. And I'm getting you, when you met them, you were just like, Everything is all right. I'm good, you know, peaceful energy. They the ones that brought back that karmic cycle by them doing karmic stuff and by them having that intention set. All right, and this, their secrets is being exposed. Hold on, Mino, give me a second, okay? Give me one second, baby. Yeah, and they was doing, like, tarot readings on you and your person. Sex life, Okay. They was doing that. They was doing tarot readings on your sex life. And, and still, we're trying to steal your sex magic here. So they can make, like, magical babies. They figured the sex magic that y'all have is what's creating these magical babies. They was really plotting on you. Yeah, they went the wrong way. Messing with your level up that the ancestors and God gave you. Because God is one of your ancestors, too. Was the wrong way. Was the wrong way. Excuse me. I'm saying a lot right now. That's why I'm burping. All right? They went... The wrong way messing with you. Because, listen, they was butthurt and jealous over your new beginning. This is my new beginning hard card with this New Year's. All right, they was butthurt and jealous over it. And they was catfishing you. I told you they was trying to steal your identity. And I'm getting identity theft is tied in with that marriage situation, too. They were trying to steal it. Y'all, I can't make this up. I love what I do. I love what I do. Because this shit is real. I'm tapping into stuff. That is hidden, and I'm exposing it. It's awesome. All right, y'all cleanse y'all space. Okay, Spirit wants me to tell y'all to cleanse y'all space. All right, because these karmic men, they're going to be mad when all this shit come out. All right, it's already coming out, but more shit, right? Guidance. These karmics also need guidance. That's why they was jealous of you, and they were spreading rumors because they were jealous. 
all right, saying that you need guidance and blah, blah, blah. All right, they talk to demons. They're evil. You're focusing on your cash flow. And guess, guess what? They was cursing your cash flow, doing spell work on your blessings. And now, look, they sitting in hermit mode, reflecting on their nonsense here. They're stuck in the past. They can't get themselves out the past because they're rooted in spell work. All right, God terminated them. God cut them out of their blessings. They're getting kicked out of heaven. I'm getting God kicked this karmic out of heaven. A lot of these karmic souls are like fallen angels. All right, but, you know, quiet as cat. Behind the scenes and, you know, their spiritual history, a part of their Akashic Records, my, you know, that's what I'm getting with this behind the scene card, is that um, they are fallen angels that got kicked out of heaven because of their bad rep, all right, their bad reputation, okay? And it's like God sent them on this planet this go-round with a fresh start and a new purpose to build up their bloodline for their new generation, no, you can't fully have access to the 3D because you're still restricted from certain karmic debts that you have to clear. All right? And, and you still, you know, pretty much a criminal in the astral realm. But at least you get to have a free spirit and, and, and have a new life. God is that merciful. I That's why I praise him. That's why I praise Father God. And I have no problem with him. God exposed the truth to me all the time. Okay? And all I ask for people is to just to leave me alone, stay out my business. All right, and don't talk about me. If you're going to talk about me, talk about the facts. I can't get mad if you're speaking facts. If you're spreading lies, I'm going to get mad. And God shows me the truth all the time. Okay? So, yeah. And it's like this karmic was celebrated in the ashram. They was happy. Like, yay, God gave me a second chance. God gave me a second chance, a new life. All right? And then uh, up until they found you, all right, with this desire, I'm getting you're more desirable to God, more favorable to, um, to God in spirit. All right? They picked up that people is going to be desiring desiring you more than them, celebrating you more than them because you have a higher purpose. And, you know, they was like, you know what? I, with this Thanksgiving, it's like they want to, you know, give back what you put them through as far as, like, them receiving karma for their wicked ways. They just couldn't forget it. How they are in the 3D is how they are in the 5D. It's all on the soul. It all stems from the soul. If they stuck in the past and can't get over what happened between y'all two in the past, that's how they are in the in the, um in the astral realm, in the spiritual realm. When if y'all was to ever cross paths in the astral realm, they'll be mad at you because of what happened like eighty million years ago from another planet, another universe, or whatever. They're that petty, y'all. Listen, this shit is real. There's pettiness, there's petty spirits in the spiritual realm too. This shit is real, you guys. And they wanted you to apologize to them, and that shit mirrored back to they behind. That what they were trying to put you through, they are experiencing that. And this is the hidden truth. This is what I'm saying. I love what I do. I know what I'm talking about. You know, there's a lot of people around me that don't see things or believe things the way that, you know, that I see it. All right? And it's like they do, but they don't. You know, a lot of people don't want to even, you know, admit that there's black magic around. And there is. You know, I'm not challenging it for no reason. I, a lot of you guys do, but I'm getting like, I'm saying just per people around me. You know, because they still in fear. And a lot of people that don't believe in black magic is the ones that's getting attacked by black magic. Okay? <laughs> like, honestly. All right, yeah, you're going through a transformation. You and this person are meant to be. It's a magical experience. All right? So give thanks that God, Father God, brought you two together. All right? And I'm getting your person should be giving thanks that you're giving them another chance because I'm getting you don't have to be with them. You know, considering their karmic stuff. But God is almost saying, like, you know, suck it up because y'all are meant to be together. Okay? There's growth coming from this. There's growth that's, it's, yeah, you will grow from this situation. Y'all both will. This situation is meant to be. Y'all, sometimes it's me, it's, 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 it's meant to hold on to a person. Because it's going to be a, a blessed opportunity from it. Not a karmic or a narcissist. Alright, so the person that really is your twin flame, your twin soul. You guys are cosmic together, right? And you guys you know, are connected. Like I'm getting your minds are connected here. This is your, I'm getting your mirrored twin. Like y'all mirror like the same mindset, thoughts. Y'all think alike. Y'all may look at things the same way. Okay, like this is like your twin. Y'all activated a lot of powers for each other. All right, powers as in like spiritual growth and ascension, your spiritual growth, um, gifts. All right, those are powers. You need power to activate it. That's why they call them powers. 
All right, do not look at how the 3D perceives things with cartoons and Marvel. All right, you got to look at it from a spiritual perspective. God has power. He has powers, all right? Why do you think we say the words are powerful, all right? Even word of mouth is powerful when you're repeating things. That shit is powerful because the shit can spread. All it's like it's power and everything. And power is just energy. Energy is everything. And energy involves in everything. Or or everything involves with energy. <laughs> Alright. So yeah. Follow the signs and symbols of the situation. Let me pull y'all. That's what I'm getting. Whatever situation y'all in. Let me just pull y'all a few more cards. Warfare is, is real, you guys. Spiritual warfare is real. And when you have spiritual haters, they're going to spiritually attack you because they know everything starts with the spirit. Everything stems from your spirit. And if they can work on your spirit to, to stagnate you, they will do that. That's how you know you're dealing with an evil karmic, though. Only evil people do that. No righteous person is doing that. Alright? And there's evil for evil. There's evil out there that's specifically created for evil people so they can be taught a lesson all right f boy alert some of y'all was dealing with an f boy stay away from them they may be trying to call you all right not this twin flame this is like an ex this, met this retrograde is probably going to try to bring an ex back around so you may have your twin flame in your ex trying to come back here and i'm getting some money as well with this financial management i'm getting like a month some money's coming back around that you guys could have missed all right a job all right a financial opportunity i'm getting maybe even an investment all right, so we're two days in this retrograde. The energy's been settled so far, but I'm seeing the tower right in the middle of the retrograde. So we'll see. We'll see. Even 3D wise, like as far as like, you know, mainstream, a lot of stuff is going to be happening. Take action. Show up. It's time for you to show up for yourself. All right, don't wait. Move forward. Step out of your comfort zone. Yeah, it's time for you to step out your comfort zone. I feel like the time is now for you to start growing as far as like your business. And, you know, what it is that you want to manifest. Yeah, these karmics was, like, betraying you, trying to block your manifestations. That was one of their betrayal tactics, all right? It's to freaking block your blessings. Now they're saying they hate nothing about you, but it's oh, it's temporary. One minute they don't hate you, the next minute they hate you. And nobody got time for that BS. I feel like y'all telling y'all karmic ex boy, but I don't got time for you. All right, I'm focusing on my salary check. It's time for y'all to definitely level up your salary. They still watching you online, man, but who cares? They see you eating right, doing better balancing and aligning yourself and i'm getting that's also the reason why these karmas betrayed you because they saw you was healing and you was like walking in new light all right and i'm getting like your light was mirroring karmic's darkness literally okay and they didn't like it look enough of the drama enough of the drama i'm having deja vu Yeah, I'm having deja vu. I saw so I had a dream last night, y'all. And I saw something in the dream. I feel like, you know, what whatever I said in my, my last read is gonna be confirmed for you guys. Alright, it's gonna be like a confirmation. Alright. Damn, I'm trying to figure out when did I use these cards. It's almost like I had a dream of me doing a reading for y'all using these cards and this was last night i had like it's like we're multi-dimensional so i saw i was mainly paying attention to this other part of the dream when i was sleeping and i was like i thought i was running from someone but spirit gave me an epiphany in the kitchen which showed me that i was chasing after someone and what i was seeing was me running after that person and i was like running like you know like they trying to get away i gotta get them i gotta get them and it's like spirit was telling me this is the this is, you know, about the person, peoples, all right, that was, like, saying that I should just, you know, pass. They weren't doing death spells on me and stuff like that, right? So, and it was, like, a Pacific karmic that did say, like, I'm lucky that I ain't dead. So, it seemed like we're after them. <laughs> but anyway, um, ancestral guidance more to offer. Yeah. Damn, y'all, yeah, I'm having deja vu.
I remember doing a reading yesterday. I did, and it was audio only. Oh, well. <laughs> Whatever I said in that reading is going to come to life. That's that's the karmic, the karma video. What's their karma? That's going to come to life. But these karmics, it's like they have more to offer to you, and they chose not to, so now you're kicking them out. All right, they didn't know your worth, so they had to go. They didn't want to give you more. This could be that karmic ex, and your spirit guides and ancestors are watching them to make sure that you know they don't do what they did to you in the past, like betraying you. All right, and your spirit guides are even watching them. All right, while they was betraying you, while y'all were together, that's how you ended up knowing everything in your in your own higher self. Your own higher self don't play. All right, it's time for you to make a strong relationship with your business. All right, focus more on that as well and, and, you know, other things like your children, family. Oh, this is my good karma card. You guys got good karma coming in. With good credit score. You have a good credit score with the universe. Good karma. All right, with well, God. That's how you're able to get what you want. All right, yeah, this is the card that made me think of deja vu. All right, I, it's like I don't know if a karmic had a dream of their karma or something like that, but please stop hating on the glow up. This is what the card I was talking about. This karmic is facing severe karma for hating on your glow up, for being a hater, for being jealous. They're being judged for being jealous. They have a jealous heart. It's like they was raised a jealous person. They was like, I'm getting, they was raised that way because that's all they saw was just jealousy. People doing things, acting out of jealousy. All right, and it made, it's like their spite was out of jealousy. They come from, it's, that's in their bloodline, it's jealousy. Oh, you know, not surprising because these low vibrational reps that, you know, try to take over, they are from the low vibrational part of the cosmos, by the way. You know, one of their traits is jealousy. How you get out of jealousy, how you remove jealousy out your bloodline is not being jealous. You just don't be jealous and you do opposite of what your forefathers and elders did. All right, so y'all are dealing with a low vibrational rep, low vibrational karmic. Period. Yeah, and it's time for them to reflect, all right, on their wicked. Because they, they hate everybody that's doing better than them. All right, jealous as hell. Yeah, you're focused on girl power. Your focus on girl power, okay? Your girl power, your divine feminine hood. All right, you're you taking your leap of faith, okay? Your leap of faith. All right, yeah, you're a girl boss. That's why I said focus on your business. So you are capable, confident. Keep pursuing your goals and your dreams. You're more than just tombs, okay? You're more than just a, a, a JJ. All right, you are happy. You are you are becoming who you are. You are successful. You are radiant healthy vibrant you attract abundance you have guidance from the divine in your ancestors you are financially abundant i feel that in your heart this is your goal and here go this sneaky bitch trying to burn up your goals here all right that's what i'm getting doing rituals on your 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 goals and it's like it's time for you to step in your power now and inspire others because you are influencer this karmic was just a hater they, they hate on everybody they didn't even know you for a lot of you guys they didn't even know you like that and they were just hating on you or they didn't get to know you like I said, they, it's like you relaxing. All the all this like all the healing you do for yourself, this karmic was copycatting by watching you. Watching your social media. If you if your business ties in with like social media, they was copying all that and then saying that you copying them. They are fucking copycats. They literally copy and paste people's energy on this on you know, on themselves, on their energetic field. Alright? Mm mm. Copycats being exposed for who they are. Y'all, I'm going to pull y'all some full moon messages. And then, you know, I'm going to be done. Well, this is pretty good. Y'all got a lot of exposure coming in. All right, these karmics. Wow. These karmics got a rude awakening. They don't even realize. A lot of truth and exposure is coming in for you guys. And a lot of, you know, you guys going to be vindicated. This is your vindication. Being Well, that's the word, right? This is you be, being vindicated. Truth being exposed, okay? Judgment. I'm going to pull y'all some tarot, too. Yeah, these karmas are just in the material world. They was 3D as hell. All right, it's because they black magic. They black magic put them in a low vibration as well. They need to admit to that. Their black magic put them in a low vibration. That's why they're not high vibrational anymore. 
It's not because of you and whatever things, whatever, you know, you put them through. They put you through a lot, okay? They, the, the stuff they put you through put them through trauma, all right? So they cause it on themselves. But what I'm what I was trying to say was it's like they can't blame you or anyone else for their worries and problems. They need to just accept that it's their low vibrational black magic. Their black magic is led them low vibrational. That darkness did consume them. They, they are not a master of darkness. It's like how you become a master of darkness by not always reacting out of darkness. Sometimes you just, you know, you pick your battles, right? You choose your battles wisely, right? And it's karmic should have used they discernment to choose this battle wisely with you because they fail. But it's like, you know what to get yourself involved in and what not to because it's just simply not worth it or you know it's going to bring you down in the end. You know there's repercussions. I know she keep asking for that bread. Mom. <laughs> Y'all, she would keep going too. She would. I'm gonna get her a little bread. I made them some um veggie bacon and stuff. Woo! It didn't fall, but it tried. I need to get a bin for these big decks. I told myself I was. I have actually an empty bin, but I want them like on my um desk. But it probably would be smart just to put them away because they're so big. I don't want to lose any cards, any cards falling. All right, almost done. This is like a interlog. I forgot what that saying is when you know it's like a intermission or something. Hold on. <laughs> Okay. So I'm going to pull y'all some four more messages. All right. So, oh, yeah, you guys are definitely protected from this karmic dark boy darkness. This is them, this full moon. This, their full moon was dark. They was in pain, suffering, all right, going through black magic. All right, they had, they're not protected here. Yeah, their full moon was extreme. It was extreme. It was going through a dark moon here. All right, yeah, they're having a realization that their black magic is, is like, it's causing too much towers for them. Like, it's getting too extreme. And they shouldn't trust the spirit instead of their ego. Their ego is the reason why they jumped and did black magic. Spirit told them not to do it. This is their own fault. Yeah, it's like they're coming to a realization that you are abundant with this nourishment. Spirit is always going to nurture you. You're 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 fulfilled and, and fruitful and abundant. All right, and it's with, with this bread is like you're full here, like you're full. And this egg is giving you fertility. All this fruits is like bountiful abundance here. Your your cup is overflowing. Mother Moon definitely filled up your cup with blessings here, and this karmic got released. They listen. Something was taken from them, from their soul. Like an attachment. And that's why they feel empty. This could have been like their own purpose was destroyed because they're trying to destroy yours. Look, you're about to grow from this. This shit was extreme for you. All right, what this comment put you through, but you about to grow. What? And you're creating what? Self-love is the reason why you are you so abundant as well. All right, your love for self. And that's why you're growing and creating so much. Your, your love for self is also why you're so powerful magically. Why your manifestations is just on fire here. And I feel like the karmic is, like, realizing that, and it's putting a lot of, like, heaviness on their back here. Like, they can't 
They can't take it. They don't have no resilience. They can't take how powerful you are. And they on the hot seat, too. They on the hot seat. People putting them on the hot seat. Like, why the hell would you even do this? You did this to yourself. And they were trying to put people in darkness. They was really trying to lie. And I feel like people don't really care about what they have to say. They can't change their lives anymore. They are in darkness. People see that they are in darkness because they are lonely. People are realizing the reason why this person is doing what they're doing is because they are in darkness. And they are trying to use you as a scapegoat. All right? Regardless if it's a karmic mom or a friend, they are using you as a scapegoat here. They they really do like you, and they love your energy. It's just that they're jealous. They're in darkness, and, they're, and they're, they can't express light because they're too suppressed in darkness, and it makes them hate others. All right? Yeah, you are attracting um, love here, and I'm hearing new love. All right? Reconciliation with your person. All right? And things are going to be balanced moving forward. Some of you have to be 19 or something happened 19 years ago or when you was 19. All right? You're 44. For some of you guys, 18, 24, 27, 34, didn't I say that? I have a three-year-old, or 40, you could also be 40. I have a seven-year-old, you could have a one-year-old, 12-year-old here. All right, but um, these are your formal messages. Yeah, look, your masculine about to come and change, all right? Not your narcissistic ex, but your true masculine. He's coming and change. He's, bringing, he's actually calling in for change. He's utilizing his powers. To bring in change for you too in his life. Y'all y'all life together. I'm getting he's connected with the with the moon cycles too. I'm getting in wow, well, I'm getting twelve moons here. I'm getting he may have control of like twelve moons here. Alright, wow, that's what I'm getting. And and even like the planetary moons, it's like he has lunar powers. He's a lunar god. He's a lunar god here. And I'm getting twelve moons. I don't know why I'm getting twelve, but I'm getting twelve here. Okay. And he's very galactic. Look. Look at these two kids in the back. This is y'all. Y'all been connected since children. Since y'all in a child got connected. Y'all knew each other since y'all was, you know, since God created y'all. Okay? He's a lunar god here. Your person's a lunar god and you're a lunar goddess. Hold on. Yeah, and these karmics was hungry for y'all lunar powers. All right? And they became lunatics. Mother Moon made them a lunatic. All right, yeah, I feel like your person can, can do your person can do a lot of magic. If they wanted to, they really can here, and I feel like they're going to receive all that their power back through the love that they have for self and the love that they have for you. It's like by y'all being twins, them loving you also amplifies them loving themselves because it's like they they want to upkeep y'all y'all your happiness, you know, their feminine happiness. All right, and you know by doing so, they know that they have to always love you. And for you to love others, you have to first love yourself. So all this shit is going to happen gradually because I'm getting, it also happened gradually because your person is choosing the right thing. They're choosing themselves, all right, over any over any karmic. They're choosing y'all too. They really love you. And I'm getting the karmic is trying to block them from loving you and see, make them 3D. They're, they're facing hella karma. Whatever they try to say that you did, all right, they actually did it. They're facing karma big time. Everyone look at them as karmic. They are a karmic. This could even be a karmic reader here. All right, you could even be, um, listen, I don't look at karmic readers as, like, it's just two ways. You can look at them as, like, a karmic reader, like, this reader is karmic, and they tap into people's energy, you know, without others knowing, and they utilize their tarot for wicked. Or you could be a karmic reader as in you a reader that taps into the karmic. You read the karmic, and you, you expose the karmic here. You read karmic cycles. You're able to help people pull out of karmic cycles by reading it and exposing the truth. All right, there's nothing wrong with reading about the karmic. All right, we have peace and creation here. And we have, um, yeah, I'm sorry, I was thinking about something. <laughs> peace and creation, you guys are creating peace. Y'all are creating peace. It's, it's like, what I was thinking about is like, you know, because I felt a projection of somebody trying to say, oh, be quiet, you just came here. And I didn't just come into the spiritual community. And, you know, I didn't just come on YouTube. And YouTube is not just for specific readers. But I can still voice my opinion about what, what I see in the spiritual community on YouTube, regardless if I've been here for a year, because I've been here for a year, all right, or two, three, four years. All right, a lot of y'all, you know, be coming for me for stupid shit. All right, these karmics wanted your peace of mind, and they wanted your new life. You and your person's new life that God created for you, too. Yeah, and your beauty. They really wanted your beauty because your person finds you very beautiful. It's like they find you so beautiful, and it's like you guys can't even believe it, but they can't. They just love your beauty. they like, I ain't seen anyone like you before. And it's like no one will ever compare to you. All right, it's just everything is just natural about you. I... Your person's almost thinking like, like their shadow. I'm even getting like there and like could even be in a shadow. And just like I don't know what I was thinking. Like, that's crazy, you know. Like yeah, and it's whatever they was 
doing was trying to manifest in y'all connection and that's why y'all had to separate all right so it won't you know be attached to your cord because all those love attacks get attached to your cord that connection that connection is the cord right and all those projections get sucked right into that that cord absorbed right up into the cord and next thing you know you guys are embodying that energy what the karmic projected either it's spell work gossip or their own projections all right but everything is coming into fruition now all everything that's beautiful everything that you want i'm getting bountiful like a lot of it all right yeah this, this karmic they had to surrender to you and they should have a long time ago because you're too powerful they can't stop you they see that you're you're too powerful they really thought that they could and they end up stopping themselves <laughs> literally like i'm seeing them being stopped in their own tracks because it's like they was leading themselves to a dead end but they, they was leading them, their own self to a dead end what they thought was their intuition guiding them to the truth was really a dead end all right they're stupid it's like i'm seeing this karmic literally their world revolves around them and they only see things their way this karmic is definitely a control freak and a robot all right, yeah, look, you're blossoming into abundance. This moon cycle. And this new moon, you're going to see so much shit sh showering down to you. And these comments can't block it or take it. Yes, holler, hoop, say hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. You got your blessings coming. All right, and y'all had y'all ex-masculine real mad about that. Okay, y'all had a few people mad at y'all blessings. Okay, and now look, they're reflecting. Like, mm, maybe I should just focus on myself and my own space and just hold back from you because you're too powerful. You Nobody can't change your mind. All right? These comments are reflecting that you are abundant. This is your higher self. Abundant here. And they had to surrender. <laughs> this karmic always want to take people power. All right? Always. They want other people power. Their path is so unexpected. Then this new cycle for them is so unexpected. And that unexpected new cycle is going to teach them a viable lesson. All right, look, claim your sovereignty. They can't claim your sovereignty. Only you can claim it. All right, and you're growing into your sovereignty, your power. And they have to hold back from you because they can't take your um your abundance. They have to hold back from you, I'm sorry, because you're too powerful. They can't take your abundance. All right, you have faith. All right, that this karmic can't take nothing from you. I'm getting it's your faith that like you knew this karmic couldn't take it, but they was trying to slow it down. All right, yeah, new beginnings coming in this new moon for you. This new moon cycle, I'm so excited for it. It's your path. Is that road is opening up. This karmic can't take it. They can't take it. If they do, they're going to die. They keep being reminded of that. And my nose just itch, so I, I know that's that's true. They are going to D-I-E. All right, they need, to, they need to focus on themselves. Right now, God is giving them another opportunity to focus on them. All right? And we have um, purity. It's like... Uh, keep like, like install this in your mind you guys a karmic can't take your purpose all you can do is is inspire them and awaken them and awaken them to their own purpose basically you know spread some of your light to activate theirs and you have so much light to give that it's not gonna you know hurt if you give a little okay but this karmic was trying to like suck and absorb all your light this this karmic no there's no excuse for what they was doing i'm just saying like you know, just understand, you know, nobody can take your purpose. All you can do is just, you know, inspire them, you know, spread a little bit of your light. Shed a, well, shed a little bit of your light. It's like you can't help but awaken people because your light is so bright and it spreads. You're an awakener. You're a grid worker, too. So it's like yo, your grid work spread for miles, miles, and miles. Like it, And I'm getting range, like a long range. All right, you are awakening people all over the world, like I'm saying. You're meant to do that. And, um... Yeah, so that's fine. But when a karmic tries to, like, take it, that's the problem. They can't take your, your divine um, bright light, your gifts, your per your birthright, because God gave it to you. And it's like they were trying to block God from your, from your psyche, and they ended up blocking God from themselves. They can't even tap into God, and I'm getting – that really hurts them. But they know that it's the spirits that shut them down from it because of what they try to do. They, they need to accept their actions, take accountability, that this is on them. Yep. Use better discernment, karmic. It's not div um, divine feminine or masculine. It's you and your own magic spell. It's not us. It's you. Y'all completing this this cycle. They cannot break through your free will anymore. They can't use the moon cycles to break your free will. All right? All they can do is just spy. All right? But they can't do nothing else. All right? They will definitely ask, you know, with this assessing, tapping into your energy. All right? And, and it's like you trusted them, too. So they utilize 
you know, the trust that you had for them against you and tapped into your energy, all right, without you knowing. They claim that was a mistake, but it wasn't a mistake. They did it on purpose. I don't know how that's a mistake, but they tried to manipulate and say that was a mistake, all right? And um, in return, you didn't trust them anymore, and you could have blocked them for that, and they started doing all type of crazy spells. They really want to say that they're chosen, they're not. You're growing. I'm getting, they didn't even honor the whole chosen one title until they met you because you are the original chosen one. Literally, you guys should be excited because you guys are, all right? We are. You know it. You know you're the real um, chosen one walking this planet. You know you are. And the people around you are the people that, you know, needs to be awakened to who they are. All right? You're here to help awaken them, but you're the original chosen one. And it's like... Like how they have that whole 144,000, all right? I've, I know there's more than 144,000, but just, you know, think of that theory. That's, you are a part of that. The original light workers that stepped on this planet. Rather, it was 144 or 2,000. All right, I'm sorry, 2 million, okay? It, you are a part of that. And the other souls around you, you are meant to awaken them. But there, it's like... Yeah, they have, it's like, okay, over time, more souls generate and be created. So, it's like, yeah, these souls, I, I do believe that anyone can be chosen for healing if they choose it. If they choose it, okay, if they choose it. Even in the cosmos before they come on this planet. They can, if they choose it, then yes, they can, um, you know, accomplish that. But I feel like these people around you, including this karmic, they're just like, by you being original, they, they can't compete with you. There's no compare. Okay, there's no comparing. Y'all just don't have the same purpose. Y'all don't have the same legacy, the same, you know, relics, royalties, or connection with Christ. Y'all just don't. And not everyone comes from Christ. Mm -mm. There's some beings... That's from different universes, or, or different galaxies, I should say. It's from different galaxies of this universe. That may come from a different God that's similar to God here, but it's not him. It's not the Most High God. It's not Ra. It's a whole separate God of another galaxy or universe. Or well, galaxy within this universe, I'm sorry. Do y'all believe in other universes? Right now, my mind is stuck on... Just one universe, like there's like different galaxies within this one universe, okay? But if there's other universes, y'all share y'all theories with me. I, I'm, I'm open. Yeah. Yeah, I can see that. But anyway, let me pull, um... I did say I was going to pull y'all some tarot, and I also feel guided to pull some self-love cards for y'all. So. Yeah, karmic is just unbalanced because, look at this. They're unbalanced, imbalanced here. They're imbalanced because their situation is not happy. They're, they're, they're like, their family is imbalanced, all right? They're like, their home is upside down. All right, I feel like they, you know, they wanted a resolution with you, but they they kept choosing, you know, the karmic route. It's like they wanted to even control how they forgave you. You know what I'm saying? Like, they are true narcissists. I ain't never meet a person like that where they wanted to control how you forgive them. You know, I guess by, you know, I'll forgive you for this, but I'm not forgiving you for that. I'm still going to get back at you for whatever else. Yeah, I'm glad y'all released this karmic. Y'all released them. Y'all let them go. And it's like you... Came out of your own conflict, your own inner conflict behind what this karmic was doing. And it's like you apologize to yourself. I'm getting that inner conflict was you, you know, mad at yourself for dealing with this type of behavior. But you decided to forgive yourself. Now the cup is also forgiving. And it's like, you know, this karmic is just low vibrational. They don't have, they're, they're not fortunate. They're, you know, they're mis it's a misfortune that they're experiencing right now. And they're dirty. They're not a divine feminine. They're distorted. Yeah, you guys walked away. Y'all let this situation go. Y'all let it go. Yeah, and they're like contemplating and thinking with the Seven of Pentacles on, you know, how they invested all their time and energy and it turned into stagnancy. Nothing. All right? They have to pray to God to get themselves out of their karma. But I feel like God is not lessening their karma. 
they could only repent, really. Their spells didn't work. And it's like they wanted you to apologize for why they spells ain't work. They were trying to say you was protecting yourself from them, and that's why everything backfired. So you need to apologize to them for their childish, their karmic, their, their delusional. I'm telling you, that's what she was saying. For y'all, this is for the ones who y'all, you know, y'all was dealing with hella spell work with y'all karmics. They were saying that they don't, they want you to apologize to them, all right, because they feel like you protected yourself purposely so all the spells can backfire. They're stupid. They just want to not admit that they spells backfired because they shouldn't have done it in the first place. They really don't want to admit that. That's crazy to me. Look, they facing judgment for being a Jezebel. All right, she sleeps around for money. This Queen of Pentacles reverse, she sleeps around for money, and all she cares about is money. All right, she couldn't even, you know, if this is tied in with, like, a mother-in-law, all she cares about is money, and she she even could have killed someone for life insurance money, held money back from you. All right, this karmic is facing judgment. They need to just admit that. Like, they're facing karma for everything. They're karmic. They don't want to believe that they're karmic, but they are. If they wasn't karmic, they wouldn't have been coming for your Ten of Pentacles, trying to hex and curse you and stuff like that. All right, trying to come for your will of fortune. Your will of fortune has, consists, contains, and I'm even consists of good fortune, um, pr prosperity, abundance. Wow. Success. All right, this is what you're celebrating here. All right, you're building all of this. This is good energy. What the hell? And it's coming in very quickly. This karma getting straight karma. You're trying to say, I don't deserve karma. I don't need karma. Bitch, you already karmic. You already looking karmic, all right? And it's like... What I'm getting is like she already facing karma by being alone as well. Like, lady, please. Yeah, she's just imbalanced here. She's off balance. She's off key. It's like she's just off. All right, her intuition is off too. I don't know who is trusting her and her intuition. Her intuition is, is mad off. If this is a false psychic, people need to stop going to her. And I'm getting people trying to, you know, deem you as like this false psychic. And she's the false psychic. And other people could even say that. Like, her intuition is not good. You know, she can tap into some people's energy, but it's like she assumes a lot because she don't know what her intuition is trying to tell her. Okay? She's not channeling no spirit. I know I'm channeling spirit. All right? Karma just can't see my spirit team because they don't want y'all to see them. Y'all are haters. All right? In the spiritual community. The moment y'all see an ascended master around me, y'all going to be trying to block them or saying, that's supposed to be for me. Oh, you stole that from me from a past life. Like, you just make up stupid shit. Please. Hating ass. Okay, this karmic was a hater in the astral realm before y'all incarnated on this planet. All right, mad because you eating healthy or you cook. I'm telling you, your karmic is mad because you cook. All right? It's like you don't need them. What type of nonsense? All right, yeah, spend time with your animals, I'm getting. Because your animals are part of your family here. Yeah, and I'm getting be still. It's like, just be still. You don't need to, you know interact in this karmic energy anymore watch a movie i feel like this full moon just chill this sunday this is sunday yeah chill dance with your animals or dance with yourself dance with your kids all right do both spend time with your animals and dance all right dance under the sun you can dance under raw all right yeah and and as you dance and act raw to clear your energetic field here all right and i'm getting if y'all want to meditate lay out on your yoga mat in front of the um in front of the raw you know sun bathe here ask them to clear your energetic field god can burn away all those um, distorted attachments, all that darkness, all right, all that smoke and mirror, all those illusions. Thank you, spirit. All those illusions, God can also break those illusions. Just go out under raw, all right, under the form of God, right, and sunbathe. Go ahead. It died. Mm -hmm. The song's called Leaves. Yeah, leave it all behind. I'm hearing, and you know, when fall comes, y'all gonna start seeing how these karmas gonna be dropping. Y'all gonna be like, oh my god. And the karma gonna still be projecting is not because of you, but it's because I need to get myself together. No, it's because of what they did to you. Sing, watch a movie, sing, dance, spend time with your animals, be still, okay. In the sense of like meditate, connecting with the stars, sunbathe, all right, dance under raw, have you a good time, have you some sex if you know your person show up today, have some sex, you get what I'm saying, you know, or spend some alone time. If your person ain't coming today, spend some alone time. All right, plan a vacation. Plan a, va a vacation. All right, yeah. Abundant planning. Plan your abundance. I'm getting plan your time now. Like the, the time is now, Spirit is saying plan it. What you want to happen in this time that's coming in for you. All right. Are you sleeping? Dream journal. Yeah. 
Davi, get you a dream journal. I was thinking that today, like, I should have a journal next to me in the bed, and as I'm dreaming, because I'm actually, like, aware, like, I can still do things while I'm dreaming. It's almost like I'm a dream walker. I don't know how that's even described, but y'all let me know. It's like, when I'm dreaming, I can actually, like, still move around, and, and still, it's like I'm still aware that I'm sleeping, but I can still do other things, too. Like, Spirit's basically showing me if I have my dream journal next to me, while I'm still dreaming, I can pick up my dream journal and, like, write what I'm seeing. And it's like I'm consciously aware of me being in that dream and me being in the 3D. So, I feel like you guys have that power, too, and y'all should, like, have a dream journal. But y'all let me know what is that gift called, if y'all know what it what it is. Is that, like, a dream walker or... I know automatic writing, but I'm not really, like, doing automatic writing because I'm dreaming. Even though you're tapped into, like, pretty much the dream state when you do automatic writing but still that could be what it is but we have music and movement yeah dance do your dance ritual ceremony under the sun with the spirits okay there's nothing demonic about that the sun give us life the sun is what wakes us up they stay really like shut us down in our consciousness for us it's like they should be teaching in science how the sun give us consciousness as well like, in how the sun has a consciousness. It's not just there giving, you know, oh, it, it grows the trees and it gives us oxygen. And the oxygen is like, like, they really did break down everything that's spiritual into the 3D, these reps. Like, they really did. All right? And it's like, everything starts off with, everything's just formed from energy. Like, everything starts off with energy. So, it's like, that's the biggest part that we're missing in life is that energy. And once you understand energy, you'll understand spirits, magic, all of that. The universe, the cosmos, even God, okay? Because our spirits are made up of energy, too. All right, yeah, some of you guys need to read. But, like, these karmics need to be reading about these things. Everyone out in the world right now, all right, that's still in the 3D, they need to read. All right, like, read, like, metaphysical books. Like, this stuff is real. Like, they really was, like, putting shit in the air so we won't believe that this shit is real. All right, that's a part of, like, the chemtrails and stuff like that. I haven't saw Kim Charles in a minute, y'all. I ain't seen him in, like, over a year or so, but, um, yeah, I've been seeing, like, a lot of angels in the sky. But it's, like, they were just trying to dumb us down, even with the food. We know all this, right? Even certain vegetables, they spray with, like, pesticides and stuff. It just, they, they did everything to, like, block our psyche. So we just won't, like, awaken. And we have chanting. So, yeah, chant, dance, sing, do all of that, okay? Yeah, and nourish your temple. Nourish your temple. And, and you know what? One way for you to nourish your temple is just say positive affirmations. Look for fairies. I'm feeling you You have, like, fairy beauty. Like, you're cute like a fairy here, or you're, like, innocent like a fairy. You have that fairy innocence. I don't know why I'm getting, like, fairy, like, you have fairy beauty, or you may even look like a fairy, okay? Yeah, you look like a fairy. That's what I'm getting. Like, something about your ears, okay? You have fairy wings, or maybe, like, your long hair. Most fairies have, like, long hair, <sighs> right? Yeah. Could even be, like, a fairy queen. I always love fairies since a little girl. That's definitely my a part of my inner child is me being a fairy. God, definitely, I'm getting even with, like, you know, those bloodlines that we have, those bloodline connections, all right, God plays a part in that, too, he chooses our bloodline connections, he chooses if we, if we are going to be, you know, embodying that fairy bloodline, like, have that fairy bloodline within us, all right, or, and it's, it's all a part of our purpose, all right, not everyone have that fairy bloodline because it's not a part of their, their purpose, they don't need the fairies, or their, their bloodline don't need the fairies, and, and uh, it's like it happens that way up until like one child out of the bloodline is like that spontaneous one and that could be the one that god creates under that fairy bloodline to be different you know and it's for their it's a part of their purpose all right time for them to break that traditional cycle and and, and um yeah that traditional cycle and that traditional bloodline of not working is not having the fairies in it and inviting the fairies because it's a part of that purpose now y'all per that person that child's purpose okay y'all get what i'm trying to say the child purpose that is you know that 
came from the bloodline that once was not working with fairies. Okay, yeah. <laughs> I know y'all get what I'm saying. I just be over explaining things. That's how I see it. What I, I just say what I see in my mind, y'all. Okay, not everyone comes from a fairy bloodline, but you know, you have that one child that will be chosen to work with the fairies because it's now it's like it's a part of that child's purpose to for them to work with the fairies to help either that blood their bloodline to help heal it or it's just a part of their purpose. Okay, but their forefathers probably wasn't even connected with the fairies. It was just wasn't a part of their tradition, their culture, and God did not choose them for that. God protects the fairies too. God created the fairies. Wait, universe, by utilizing the cosmos, okay? The cosmos is a huge consciousness here. All right, you can make things come to life by just tapping into universe, the cosmos. That source, okay? But, um, I think I'm done. I love y'all so much. <laughs> Namaste.